Hello guys, Colonel Ninny here. As we fly along on a beautiful morning like this, we don't give much thought to what it takes to have this engine perform perfectly and keep us airborne and alive. Nowadays, everybody knows what an electronic fuel injection system is, but very few people understand the complexities of a carburetor. In a World War I aircraft, this was a mechanical device operated by the mixture control. It was basically a mixing chamber to get the right amount of fuel to the right amount of air for perfect combustion. So let's just talk about that concept for a second. The old fire triangle said that if we had fuel and oxygen and added heat to it, we would get combustion. As it ignited, the pressure would push the cylinder down, turn the crank, and turn the propeller. So we have to realize that when we set the perfect fuel to air ratio at sea level, as we climb, that changes. And as we increase altitude, there is less oxygen for the combustion process. This means we need to adjust the mixture to reduce the amount of fuel going in to match the ideal oxygen-fuel ratio. If we pull the mixture back and reduce the fuel and make it too lean, it'll still burn, but it won't be efficient. By the same token, if we advance the uh, mixture and make it too rich, it will still burn, but it won't be efficient. So what the pilot needs to know and understand is how to get the optimum performance out of his aircraft so he can overcome his adversary by adjusting the mixture and the fuel-air ratio at any altitude. So here we're at 1800 RPM and 120 miles an hour at sea level. The AI has set it at something a little less than maximum rich to get 1800 RPM. And if we lean our mixture, it reduces the RPM. There's too much oxygen at this level. Now, advancing it to full rich, we don't get 1800 RPM. Bringing it back ever so slightly will give us 1750. This will give us our optimal human setting. Let's take a look at the SE-5's performance at about 1,700 meters or 5,000 feet. And here the AI sets it at 100 miles an hour and 1,450 RPM. So the AI setting is a little too rich, so as we lean it out you'll see there's a slight increase in RPM. And then as it gets too lean, of course, a large drop in RPM. Bring it to full rich gives us 1,600 but then leaning it out just slightly gives us 1650. Now let's look at 12,000 feet or about 3,500 meters. So I think you understand the concept here. Adjust your mixture as you climb and as you descend. If you've enjoyed this video and get some value out of it, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe and like and all those usual things. But if you want to see more of these videos, specifically with the IL-2 uh, Battle of Stalingrad, got about 150 training videos for you to look at. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.